the concept of CAR T cell therapy uh, it is based on genetically modifying your own T cells. So the way this is done is a patient will come to our clinic. We, we have a few blood tests to make sure they're eligible for our study and that their tumor expresses the target. And so in this case it would be CD19 as the target of the T cell. And then we would collect blood by a process called apheresis or leukapheresis. And uh, there the patient has their own cells collected from their blood at a steady state, essentially, so they have an IV in each arm and blood runs through a machine and a small fraction of uh, cells containing the T cells are taken from the patient in a, about a three hour procedure. It's very similar to donating platelets or for people who have had an auto transplant, it's the same idea of donating uh, stem cells for a, for a transplant. Those cells are then taken to a laboratory and they're split into two types of T cells. Those types of T cells are called uh, CD8 cells or killer T cells and the other subset is CD4 or helper T cells. The Seattle Cancer Care Alliance has now a long track record of bringing uh, together uh, the scientists from the Fred Etchison Cancer Research Center of Seattle Children's and the UW physicians essentially and this partnership uh, was was formed so that we could deliver outpatient cancer care at a single uh, single institution and I think that we have shown over the year that we're uh, the top cancer center and obviously in the in the in the region or in the area but it's partly because we were able to bring innovative research uh, to, to the clinic. So we're not just giving you the latest, greatest uh, standard of care, which you can get probably in other centers, but we're, we're also then having these uh, access of uh, new products being made, uh, predominantly at the labs at the Fred Hutch, uh, access to clinical trials uh, from, from third parties, um, and the experience uh, to, uh, to, to know how to deliver these types of treatments. So these, these treatments are not, are not without risk and we're learning a lot and it's very important that the trials are done really cautiously and carefully.